All right, guys, check this out. So you guys remember I just got this custom from Sammy's grandson, Kevin. He told me to check in the back and look at this, guys. Check it out. We have the number 43 Air Force car. And I literally saw this on the back of the card when I was looking through the latest release. And I was like, oh, man, they got number 43. And check this out, guys. Super clean. Nice, dude. Nice. Got the Chevy Camaro rocking the U.S. Air Force livery. Oh, yeah. Oh, huge shout out to Kevin on this one. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are finally getting to the box that Rich sent. I know a lot of you have been asking. I've been patiently waiting because I just really wanted the setup to be almost complete and have this area designated for this unboxing because you know Rich, he sends a lot of amazing cars and we definitely need all the room we can to lay them all out. But before we get to this, guys, we got our hands on the circuit racers. There was only three on the pegs, but check out this beautiful Koenigsegg Jesko. Look at that. This is probably my favorite release out of all of them. You had the white, the silver, and the dark charcoal, but this blue metallic looks amazing. Loving the racing style livery. You have the Koenigsegg right there on the side with the Castrol and the number 20. And of course you have the small gray OH5s all the way around, but check this out guys. You have some nice black and yellow stripes running along the top. Man, this is a beautiful casting. Definitely digging the card art, but you guys already know these are coming out of the packs. The next one is this awesome recolor, or actually it's the same color. They've used this color a lot on the NSX, but the livery itself looks really good, and I love the way they did the circuit style liveries on these. You have the NSX with the number 17. Nice headlight and taillight details. Of course, this casting has always had front and rear tampos. But you have the chrome Y5s all the way around. And then, of course, you still have the black top. But check this out. Beautiful livery on this one as well. And then the last one I was able to pick up was the 71 Porsche 911. Look at this beautiful yellow. So coming around the back, you have the nice taillights, which are attached to the glass itself. You got the roll cage, chrome five spokes. And then of course, you have just the white meatball with no number and then they actually did do some headlight detail so some some basic headlight tampos nothing too detailed on it but a beautiful Porsche and of course being in yellow is an awesome color selection so we'll go ahead and set these off to the side the only one I am still needing to pick up is the McLaren P1 but I know I'll find this in the store eventually this just got released into our area but let's get to the box from Rich um, these castings we all saw in the last episode, so we're just going to set these off to the side. You have the Mercedes 540K, the Integra, the Time Shifter, and Time Taxi, which I thought were awesome. And then, of course, you have the 993, the Twin Turbo 300ZX. Then we had the BMW M3, the Mercedes-Benz, the Corvette C6. You had the 918 Red Edition along with the Red Edition GTSR and the 56 Ford truck. The Volkswagen T2 pickup. This one we are still saving for last because he wants me to open this one up last, so we'll set that off to the side. You have the two Stars and Stripes Mustang GT and the Nissan R390. The Volkswagen GTI out of Dub Cities. You have the world's smallest little Roger Dodger. Then we had the new recolor of the 67 Ford GT40 and the Subaru wagon. And then these beauties right here. The Mazda Repoos in these two awesome colors and liveries. Definitely digging that blue. Of course, the Dodge Viper from Matchbox and the Wheel Error Homer Simpson family car. You have the lace wheels up front and the five spokes out back. But if you want to see the full video of everything before this, I'll have that link down below. But off to ones we have not seen yet. We have the beautiful 2018 release of the 67 Camaro. Kind of a throwback to the Redline era. But check it out, guys. You have the beautiful blue Spectra Flame, the Redline wheels, black vinyl top. 
super sweet. So I do actually have a Redline Mustang, the custom 67 and the Spectra Flame Red. So there we go, 67 versus 67, both Spectra Flame. And of course, they're 2018 releases. So that is awesome to have both the two legendary rivals. And there we go, guys. Awesome. Next up, we have the Red 90 Acura NSX. Such a legendary JDM car. One of my favorites of this era. You have the nice red enamel, chrome PR5s, nicely done details. And I always like the fact that they put the exhaust in silver. So I think that's just a really cool touch to it. But there we go, out of the Hot Wheels workshop, this was a new release for 2015. Here we go guys, look at these two beasts. You had two of the same castings, one on a different card than the other. So you have collector card number 491 on the old blue faded card. There we go, check it out. You have the plastic missile and then of course you have the purple metallic and the satin black camo the night force rocket shot check that out guys sweet and then you have another one on a later released card there we go same exact casting and details i don't think there was anything different between the two there is no difference just card variations so there we go awesome now I had set this fabric on there to release what we have not seen yet, and here we go, guys. Okay, I think this lid's gonna be annoying. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and move this off to the side. The first one out is the 2008 Lancer Evolution. Ooh, there we go. Check that out. Have not seen this livery. It is a black enamel, blue chrome J5s, and the maximum attack livery on there. Check that out. It's actually out of the Hot Wheels Off-Road series. Very nice casting. And it looks like he hooked it up with two more variations of the 2008. And here we go. We have the black and red Advan livery Evo. This is a recent release, not too old. I remember seeing this on pegs a while back. Um, but you do have the gold 10 spokes all the way around. Definitely loving the Advan livery. And then right below that, guys, the Hot Wheels race team. You guys already know I am a huge fan of this deco. This one is a little bit different than the traditional race team. You have the triangles kind of floating along the side with the Hot Wheels flame, but it's still an awesome casting. So there we go, red 10 spokes on the bottom, gold up top. I think the Advan's probably my favorite out of the two. Next up, we have the top three right here. Looks like collector 489, 486, and what is, <laughs> look at that guys. Big Bertha. Oh dude, I've only seen this on people's videos and uh, I guess this is a highly asked about casting out of the Night Force as well. Check that out guys, crazy looking tank. So it says turret swivels, gun tilts. Nice, oh yeah, you can see the little pivot point right there on the barrel. Man, check that out guys, Big Bertha. <laughs> nice. So we'll go ahead and keep these all together since they are out of the same series, same deco. And then here we go, we have the command tank number 486. Of course, you have the same purple and matte black camo. Very freaking cool. Check it out. Night Force as well on the side. Looks like a pivoting and rotating turret as well. Yep, there you go. Gun turret turns. So there we go. We got two card variations of the Rocket Shot, Big Bertha, and the Command Tank. And here we go. Check this out. This is out of the Pride Rides. It is number four of 10, the Austin Healy. Very freaking sweet. Check that out, guys. Loving this style Roadster. You have the chrome five spokes, black metallic, and you do have the pinstripe flames running across the side. And then, of course, you do have the open and exposed motor. Look at that. That is pretty sweet. Collector number 152 out of 2003's release. Let's see. Next four, we got, ooh, look at that. <laughs> Oh man, we have the 2018 release custom 53 Chevy. 
Oh man, that green metallic is gorgeous. You got the black steelies, chrome lip, and I love the lime green flames over that. And of course you do have the little show me hood, which is a transparent green. Look at this guys. Hot Wheels Flames is another series that never disappoints. We had seen this casting before that he had sent, I think it was in black um, with a clear hood. So I thought that was awesome, but you can definitely see it's more clear on this lime green. That is super cool. Oh man, love that one. And followed up, you have the custom 53 Caddy out of the Rod Squad. Look at that blue. Now that is super sweet looking. You have the light blue and baby blue tampo stripes running down the side. You have a little soapbox car coming out in the back. Super sweet, man. Check that out. Ten spokes all the way around. Back ones are tucked in. Oh, yeah. That is beautiful. Then next up, you have the custom Ford Bronco. Here we go. The Zamac, number 17 out of 2017's Zamac Wave. Of course, we have this one loose. You have the Surf's Up Tampos on the side with a really cool wave. And then the nice striping deco for the hood. But check that out. Loving the gold beadlocks. Loving it. Next up, I have never seen this before. It's called the Popcycle or Popsicle out of the Virtual Collection. It's a very interesting cast. But you have a nice green metallic gold engine details. Oh, and there you go. You have a little bicycle. So it's a bicycle with a canopy and it looks like a side engine car. That is a very interesting casting. That is very interesting. Ooh, here we go, guys. Look at this. We'll go this route. I see two Volkswagens. You got the Golf MK7 out of the Hot Wheels art car in yellow. Loving the Crash Deco, more of a comic book style, which I think they should have gone this direction again. I really love when they throw some comic book style art on these cars, but they have had some really cool street graffiti ones. They've had some hit or miss ones especially like the 65 coupes when they wanted to throw different color panels on the cars and wheels i think that's when they went kind of south for the art cars with this one as well as the fox body i think these are the two hideous and most ugliest mustangs hot wheels has released so far but hopefully they learn from that one but i really wish they went back to this style i think it looks really good very very clean looking and then next up, we have another Volkswagen Golf Collector 474 with the Farvin Nugan livery on the side. Chrome lace wheels, red interior. We do have two of these loose. One is a lace wheel and the other is a five spoke. And I believe there's a five dot variation as well. But this is my first and only carded Volkswagen Golf with the Farvin Nugan livery. All right, next up, we have two wheel variations of the Jaguar D-Type absolutely love this casting i do have them loose we got it in silver red and blue this one is the five spoke variation i think i do have a lace wheel variation but here we go you got the saw blades in chrome and the lace wheels in chrome 98 first editions for both of them and this one's collector 638 i believe this one's the same collector number just wheel variation. I love this casting mainly for the fact that I love the round body and the full painted cast. I love how they painted the base to match with it. And then of course you do see the little exhaust coming out the side. That is pretty sweet. I've never really noticed that. There we go. 298 first edition Jaguar D types. Love it. All right, next up we have the Enforcer. Check that out. Collector 461. Looks like a dark purple metallic, super dark. Got the five spokes all the way around. Missile launchers up top and the side guns. Check that out, man. That is super cool. We'll go ahead and put those off with the military style vehicles down here on the bottom. Next up, we have the Troop Convoy. Nice, look at that. Chrome five spokes. Looks like it says something off to the side. Uh, Lutz Ranch Markets. Back when they took the ranchers' trucks and used them for military convoys. But there we go. Collector 487 on the blue faded card. Uh oh, we got two more military vehicles 
First one is the Swing Fire Collector 492. Check that out. Got the Snow Patrol Deco. Man, that thing is full bulletproof. Except for the top, you are fully exposed. So if you get shot from the side, you are perfectly fine. Even from the front, but if you come up on top of us, <laughs> yeah, we're getting lit up, boys. There we go, another cool casting. And then check this out, the Assault Crawler. This thing is heavy. Man, this thing's heavy. It's Collector 624, look at that. Man, this is old school stuff right here, guys. They don't make tanks and military vehicles anymore. If they do, it's all colorful and playful and all that. But I loved this era of when they put real military vehicles in castings. Check it out, you got the turret up top. Definitely loving this tank theme going on right here. But yeah, there we go. Another awesome military vehicle. We'll try to keep these all together. Now off to some exotics. We got some Lotus Esprits. Here we go, we got the S1. This is out of the James Bond 007, the spy who loved me. New for 2015 in this beautiful white enamel. You have the tail lights, the license plate, and of course the chrome five spokes all the way around. Um, I do have a white one. I'm not sure if it's out of this exact series or release, but I'm 100% sure I have a white one loose. There we go. We have another one in the collection. Next up, we have the yellow Esprit out of the Hot Wheels Exotics. I think we do have this one loose as well. Fully detailed back end. And of course, just a beautiful recolor. Now the next one is red. I'm not too sure if I have a red one or not, but here we go, guys. The beautiful red. Look at that. Another one out of the Hot Wheels workshop. So let me know which one is your favorite color release. I'm definitely digging the white just because it's clean and simple. Oh man, I don't know. Definitely digging the white one though but they are all beautiful castings. Next up, we have two more of the Volkswagen Squarebacks. Check that out. Custom 69 Volkswagen Squareback, both out of the Hot Wheels art cars. I believe he sent another art car recolor of this one. I think it was like a baby blue. The top one is an awesome red metallic. Definitely loving the color scheme of the gold and purple. Really ties in very nice. And of course you have the yellow tinted glass, black OH5s with the gold ring. And there we go. And the recolor is in white. You have more of a lighter theme to it, the baby blue and almost like a goldish yellow. And then you have the black OH5s with the orange ring and orange tinted glass. So there we go, definitely digging the red one a little bit better. It flows much nicer with the colors, but still both of them are awesome castings. Next up, let's see what the next three are. Ooh, look at this. Oh man, you got two wheel variations of the Ferrari F355s. Look at that deco. Oh man, it's collector 191 out of 2001. You have the top one right here in this beautiful yellow with the chrome PR5s and the bottom one with the chrome five spokes. But look at that. You got the full roll cage inside. This one's kind of sticking out the window a little bit. But man, I have never seen this one before. Look at that. Love and the Italian stripes going across the top of that. There we go, two more Ferrari 355s. Here we go, we have the 2016 Bugatti Chiron in this beautiful blue metallic. There we go, chrome J5s all the way around, silver stripe running back behind the door. It's out of the Hot Wheels Exotics, new for 2019. I do have this one as well as the black. There we go, we have more and my man hooked it up. Look at this. You guys saw I just bought these from the Trader's Market and I have them loose sitting right over here. So there you go, you got the black casserole and the 68 with the yellow and here we go. Nice, my dude hooked it up. Man, there we go, we got another one back in the card. Oh, man. He's right, I should have just opened the box before I went hunting because my man literally threw these all together. Nice. 
And of course the new 2022 recolor. Oh man. And here we go, check it out. We have two more BMWs, the 92 M3. Oh my God, that blue. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that, black PR5s with the chrome lip and the grayish white. It's like an off-white interior. I don't know, yeah, it's like an off-white. You have the M3 stripes running down the side, which I love because it's kind of ghosted a little bit. There we go, and then of course, followed up by the Z4 M Motorsport. Look at that, beautiful casting. One's out of the BMW lineup and the other one is out of the Hot Wheels showroom. All right, next up, let's we'll see what's the next three. Ooh, look at that. Oh yeah, you got the 2015 Ford F-150 out of the Hot Wheels Hot Trucks and it does have the awesome Hot Wheels flame. But look at that blue. That is the one, I keep saying it every time guys, they're blue, either it's dark blue like the Jaguar or this blue like the BMW, or the Spectra Flame blue, or this light blue metallic. This is just an awesome color. And of course you have the off-road six spokes with the orange bead locks on there. And check it out guys, we got the 442W30 with the massive, massive off-road six spokes right there. It's out of the Hot Wheels Daredevils, Blue metallic with the Demolition Derby style graphics on the side and the Hot Wheels flame. Look at that. So this one was actually released as a donk as well. Um, I actually had it, but I slammed it, took the base apart, put a custom base on it, and actually put it at a factory ride height. But uh, yeah, it was kind of a gooey and gluey mess, so <laughs> I just threw it away. And then check this out. I have never seen this one. It's called the Bull Whip. It looks like an off-road Baja style of the Night Shifter. But there we go, another Hot Wheels race team. Definitely loving the graphics on this one. Very simple, very traditional, but you do have the red chrome PR5s. I'm just really digging that. That's actually super cool. So there we go, awesome. Oh, this one's open. Oh, this one's open. <laughs> Look at that. Here we go, better look at it guys. It was meant to be, but we'll go ahead and put it back in there just for the time being. All right, let's see. Ooh, here we go. Check this out, guys. Oh, that's where that's from. I actually have that 99 Coils Mustang. It's out of the Car Meat 5 pack. Check that out. Oh, dude, yes. You got the Subaru STI in that beautiful blue. The Evo that we saw carded, the BMW M Sport. The Mitsubishi Eclipse security car. I think we do have this one in a different color. And then of course the Coils 99 Mustang. Look at that. Oh, that is sweet. So that means now we have both base variations of the Evo. All right, here we go. What do we got over here? These have been eyeballing me since we've been looking. We got four, ooh, check this out. Collector 198. It is the Track Aces Shark Cruiser. Look at that setup guys, the blue with the gold, very nice color choice. You have the Hot Wheels flame running across the top, red chrome, five dots. Every time I see this, I think of my buddy Mike. All right, so it looks like these are all pretty much the same liveries. They're all the track aces, you have the power pipes. Look at that, that's a really cool graphic right there. I love how the flames kind of over twist onto the Hot Wheels flame. Look at that it's collector 177 out of 2004 and then here we go we have another track aces it's the tracks tune there we go it looks like it's kind of based heavily off an eclipse maybe like the eclipse spider but there you go plastic body same flame over flame livery chrome interior you have the blue speakers and all that stuff on the inside blue tinted glass there we go, collector 61 out of 2005. Next one is the Pontiac Rages. There we go, we do have a couple variations of this casting. This is actually a really cool livery though. I'm really, really digging the way those flames wrap around the Hot Wheels flame, it just looks really cool. So we'll try to keep these all together. 
And then here we go. I love this casting, guys. It is a super cool mixture between the bone shaker and just your traditional drag drag rat rod. Look at that. God, just the way that roof slants and the stance of it just looks so much more aggressive. I actually like this one much better than the bone shaker. But here you go, another Hot Wheels race team loving the red metallic. That is just an awesome color setup. Better than the blue because this just reminds me of the red edition um, that they would come out with. But this was new for 2016. Best for track. Ooh, there we go. Got the massive OH5s all the way around and the number eight on there. See, you got some 85 Hondas, 88s, uh-oh. Let's go with these three. <laughs> there we go, guys. The Colt Racer 88 CRX in all black. Loving this one. I love that they put the full details of the headlights, the JDM banner right there, black five spokes. Yeah, this thing is done nicely. And there we go. We got the FTE version of the CRX out of the Nightburner series, and followed up by the Aston Martin 177 in this beautiful red metallic. Look at that. But I do have these two CRXs um, that I picked up not that long ago, but there we go. We got the FTE CRX and the loose Colt Racer right there with the other CRXs. So there we go, guys. We got a couple more in the collection. All right, let's see. We got two more 85 CRXs. Ooh, there we go. Don't have this one. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, that is super clean. I am loving that red enamel. Look at that. You got the black, gold, and white striping all the way across the sides and roof with the chrome PR5s and then followed up by the white and red version of it. I think I do have the white one loose. Um, yep, right there. Boom. So this was actually from, I think this was the last one he sent me. I opened it up and I was like, yep, got to have it loose. I have all my other CRXs loose. So this one will be open. These ones will stay carded. Oh, we got some exotics and some Nissans. Ooh, man. Ooh, there we go. Check this out. You have the Lancia Stratos in two different colors. But look at this one. Oh, man, that is super clean. Oh, man, look at that. Loving the dark blue with the orange and black theme going on. Looking really nice with the gold MC5s. God, that is an awesome casting. And then next up is the red version of it with the gold PR5s. Um, now, if you guys tuned in to my last one from Fordsman84, he hooked me up with four different color variations. I don't remember if he threw in a gold wheel variation. Yep, there we go. So now we have two of the gold PR5 versions. Nice, Collector 37. All these are Collector Card 37s. All the wheel variations and Tampo variations. So there we go. Sweet. All right, let's see next up. Ooh, there we go. Some castings I don't really collect, but I do have a couple matchbox of these. You have the 63 DB5 Aston Martin. Check that out. Another James Bond car out of 2014. Of course, the legendary silver metallic. Got the nice details for the taillights, license plate, chrome lace wheels, and then some headlight detail to really just top it off. But followed up by the red. Check that out, guys. Ooh, that is nice. It's out of the Then and Now series. Look at that. Ooh. Oh yeah, that red is much, much cleaner than the silver. Even though the silver metallic looks very, very nice under lighting. Of course, it's very signature to James Bond. That red, ooh, I would definitely drive that one all day. Next up, here we go. We have a recolor of the Toyota Celica Collector 151 out of 2002. We actually have this one in yellow and black, but this purple and yellow, Definitely an awesome color setup. You have the yellow tinted glass, the Rawlman turbo racing livery, and then of course the chrome lace wheels all the way around. But there we go, beautiful man. Check this out, yes! We have another one, nice. 
the Aston Martin Vantage GT3. And that is a gorgeous casting. Look at that. Of course, the beautiful blue metallic white striping and deco. The number 68 and the chrome PR5s. Oh, yeah. And he got this from Kmart. Look at that. $1.09. Man. That's highway robbery. So this is my second one in the collection. I think he threw in a black one. Can't remember which one he threw in before, but there we go. We have a second one in the collection. Oh my God, more awesome Beamers. Look at that. The E36 M3 race in red. Oh, that looks good. Chrome 10 spokes. You got the checker flag in black, blue, and white. Of course you have the number 36 door racing number. And then followed up by another M3 Race E36. Look at that blue. This is just a blue enamel, not really a metallic finish. But you got the 232 Toyo tires, Sparco. You got all kinds of racing sponsors running along the door. And then, of course, the chrome 10 spokes. You guys got to let me know which one is your favorite. I'm definitely digging the blue. But the red is just, oh, red's my favorite color. All right, let's see. What do we got right here? Collector 507 which is, ooh, look at that. Dude, this thing is heavy. That is super interesting. Check that out, guys. You got the Peugeot 205 Rally number 507. Look at this. Now, I know there has to be some type of story behind this car just because I don't think Hot Wheels would make a livery like this if there wasn't a reason behind it. If you guys know anything more about it, let me know in the comments, but check this out. It is interesting. It looks like it's sectioned off like separate pieces. Oh man, does this top come off at some point or in any way? Look at that, man. That is super cool. Yeah, you guys gotta let me know down in the comments more about the Peugeot. This thing is, man. That is super cool. Next up we have, oh, there we go. <laughs> the 85 City Turbo 2. Oh man. My buddy Nate literally just sent this not that long ago. I opened it up loose. It's sitting with the other Honda City Turbos. This was one I needed and there's a black one I needed. Um, but I'll find it guys. Don't try to send it to me. I appreciate when you guys do that, but I also like trying to find it out in the wild or at the trader's market. But there we go, Turbo 2 in yellow out of the 80s or decades Hot Wheels release. Uh-oh, custom Ford Bronco, which one is it? Boom, there we go, orange enamel in the house. We got this one back in the collection. Um, I actually hooked up a buddy with a trade and uh, he was really trying to collect a lot of Ford Broncos. So most of my Ford Broncos, if not all, went to him, including this one, the blue one. A um, couple of the modern ones, a little bit of the older ones that I've gotten um, were sent to him. But there we go, another beautiful Bronco in the collection. Ooh, got some formulas, but some Lamborghinis. We are not gonna leave these for last. We have the Lamborghini Countach police car in black. Definitely do not have this one. Oh, I am stoked. Look at that. Got the black enamel with the white police livery. Got the police lights up top, blue tinted glass, and the gold five spokes. Oh man, that is super cool. So it looks like a 2019 release. Of course, followed up by the Countach pace car in red. You have the 50th Grand Prix right there on the side. I think I have this one and I think a blue one. Or maybe it's white. I don't know, but I know I have two different color variations of this one. This one makes number two. And then, uh oh. We got the Nissan Silvia. Ooh, there we go, guys. Beautiful K&W livery over the charcoal metallic. I do have this one loose. I think I have, yeah, I have both the color variations. I think it's the only two variations that have been released so far. So nicely done tail lights. Of course, you just have that really nice color setup. But there we go. 2020s release followed up by two more Fair Lady Zs. Look at that. Oh man, both of these are out of the Need for Speed series. You got the new for 2016. Both out of the Hot Wheels Speed graphics and there we go. Doesn't look like there's any variations between the two. We're almost done guys. You got the BMW M4. There's three of them. 
Let's see what we got. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I have that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, factory fresh. But mine is loose. And it's a little, little scuffed up, but there we go. We have it sitting fresh in the blister. Got the Chrome J5s, nicely done headlight and taillight details. And of course, followed up by this beautiful red metallic. That's out of the BMW series. You got the Chrome Trap 5s all the way around. And then this light blue, look at that. Man, that is beautiful. There we go, all done up front and back. Very, very nice castings. Loving that dark blue, look at that. It just really has some really nice high and low spots in that flake. The red one looks good and the blue one doesn't really capture the body lines as much as this one does. Look at that. Last rose, guys, check this out. Ooh, ooh, I don't, oh, I have a green one of this. It came out of the nine pack, I think. The Mostretta MXR out of the Hot Wheels race. Look at that, beautiful orange enamel. We got the Chrome J5s, some tail light details. Ooh, look at that. You got the red and white Hot Wheels flame. They actually threw some color on that one and some headlight detail. Very nice. Yeah, I do have a dark green enamel version of this. Here we go. You got the Jaguar XJ220 and a livery I do not have. Look at that. Got the nice red enamel, the purple striping. That's kind of, it's kind of hard to see, but you got the XJ220 and then the same stripe running down the hood. And the gold lace wheels. That is a beautiful setup right there. Here we go. You got a couple more Chevy Volts. Oh, there we go. The Super Volt. That's what it's called. One's out of the Hot Wheels Race City in this really nice silver metallic. Definitely digging the drag electric car. And then, of course, this beautiful white enamel. Look at that. Hot Wheels Green Speed. I want to say we have this deco in a different color. There we go. More Chevy Volts. Nice. Variation City. And here we go. <laughs> yes. The 18 Copo in this burnt orange with the 50th anniversary logo right there. I don't have this one. I have it in blue. I remember seeing this orange one on pegs at Fry's and I just left it. And then I was like, oh, I'll come back and get it. And then I never saw it again. So nice. Another one I kind of regret skipping out on uh, was the premium version of it. Because you guys know I do have a lot of Copo Camaros. I think I have a majority of them hanging up over here. Um, yeah, so got these Copos, got those Camaros. Um, I know I have more. They're just still sitting in those totes. I have a lot more Copo Camaros and drag Camaros in the collection. But final run right here, guys. Here we go. We got some Formula cars to finish it off. Got the Indy 500 Oval. Beautiful pink. My daughter would love to race with this one. Yeah, out of the Speed Blur series, you got the white Trap 5s with the gray tires. It's actually a nice casting, not too bad. I've seen it before and I kind of overlooked it, but I do have, if you guys haven't picked up, I have a lot of different freaking castings, but I am starting to pick up a lot of Formula cars. I don't know why, I just think it's just cool. But you got the Thunder Streak, check that out. That is an interesting deco. You got the, it looks like Sun with the number six. Chrome lace wheels, purple enamel, not a metallic finish. Full metal on metal, there we go. So nice. And then we got the winning formula. I do have a couple variations of this one. And these are actually really cool castings, guys. Got the Hot Wheels glow wheels. Ooh, it glows in the dark. There's only one way to really find out. see let's cut the lights out ready Ooh, check that out <laughs> nice let's turn it all out oh wow yeah dude that really does glow nice <laughs> I've always been curious on like how well those glow in the dark and that glows in the dark very very nice <laughs> so there we go Nicely done. And then finishing up, we have the Golf Livery Indy 500. Nice. 
I want to say I have this, but I'm not too sure. Of course, everyone's a huge fan of the Gulf livery. I'm a huge fan of the Gulf livery. It's very heritage. And it's out of the Legends of Speed for 2018. Now, there was a super of this one. That one's super hard to get your hands on. And final one right here, the Hot Wheels 500. God, I love those wheels. Look at that, though. God, that blue with the yellow. Oh, that is, this is the epitome of what an Indy car should look like from Hot Wheels. You have to have the Goodyear Eagle tires. God, I wish they brought those back. Out of the Mad Maniac series. Nice. There we go, guys. We got done. Now, off to the one that he wanted me to open up last. Let's see what we have. I don't know what to expect from Rich, but man, he throws some craziness in a package. All right, let's see. Sent blue BMW loose extra CRX to open. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Oh man. Oh, here we go. Another 85 CRX. Ooh, look at this. This one right here, guys, the 964. God, that is nice. Oh, man. Got the black enamel, red interior, red base. Got the real rider of the vented aero discs. Oh, man, that is clean. Check it out, my man. Oh, there we go. That is wicked cool. The Renault 5 Turbo. Ooh, that is nice. Look at this, man. Love in the blue. Of course, you have the white deco with the red. Got the number 16. The eight spoke real riders. Oh, that is nice. God, that is super nice. I'm actually surprised they didn't do the headlight or fog light details. Oh man, and here we go. Finishing up with the Mercedes Ben 190E 2.5-16 Evo 2. Whew, that was one long breath, but there we go. Check that out. Oh man, that is wicked, man. Oh, I am digging that. Look at this, guys. Talk about awesome, best for last. My <laughs> dude. He threw in a second one just so I can open one up. God, that is insane. Let's kind of spread this out a little bit. Let me get a drink. Ah, sponsored by Bang. Just kidding, it's not. All right, so here we go, guys. Let's lay these all out if we can. Finishing off with these modern classic from Car Cultures. The 85 CRX, the Mercedes long freaking name Evo 2. You got the Renault 5 Turbo, the Porsche 964. Beautiful way to finish off this box. I mean, you have some variations, guys, from Formula cars, Indy 500 cars, the Chevy Volts, the exotics from the Jaguar XJ, the Lamborghini Countach, Broncos, Lotus, and Lanchas. You got the Aston Martin GT3, which I freaking love. DB5s, the BMWs, you got a whole bunch of BMWs in this. You got this awesome car meet set, more CRXs, which you can never go wrong with. Awesome Hot Wheels liveries um, on a lot of these cars. The Jaguar D-Type first edition, wheel variations, the Volkswagens, the awesome freaking tanks. Look at that, the Command Tank, the Rocket Shot, Big Bertha. Oh man. And so Rich, again, as always, thank you so much for sending me what you sent. I know it took a long time for me to get to this second part of this unboxing. Um, but if you guys wanna check out what we got in the first one, I'll have it linked down below. Now, I'm glad I was able to find these ones by myself without any help. But my man has helped grow my collection and just extend the minds of collecting certain castings. You know, if I went out and looked at these, I probably wouldn't pick them up. Um, but once you start finding variations like this one, 
this one will start rolling you down the rabbit hole of wanting this one and then wanting the golf livery and then that's how you start going down these rabbit holes guys but glad to finally showcase this to you guys because i know a lot of you have been waiting and asking for it so i do apologize it took a long time but again we were moving and i really wanted this to be fully or almost completely done that way you guys can enjoy a good background with unboxing some hot wheels and just overall awesome casting so again hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a huge thumbs up and of course comment down below your thoughts on these castings and of course if you know anything more about what i went over that you know i should have mentioned always comment down below i love getting the info from you guys a lot of you are so knowledgeable in this hobby i actually look forward to the comments so that is all we got for today guys until next time this is the mustang hunter all right real quick guys bonus so you know how i mentioned that i could not find the p1 well, I just got back and they restocked, so I grabbed the P1. So now I officially have the full entire series, including the GT500. So like I said, guys, it's just a matter of time. So there we go. And I did pick up a 20 pack, guys. I am not a huge fan of doing that, but check this out. You have the Corvette exclusive in black. Got the Steelys, super clean. The gold Lamborghini Gallardo. Got the black Y5s all the way around. Then you got the NSX uh, in silver, which I don't have a silver one, I don't think. And then coming across, you got the GTO in this beautiful blue metallic. Got the Plymouth, got another Porsche 935, and tucked in right there, guys, is the black Honda Civic Type R. It is black on black, so if you guys remember, there was a prior release in black, but it had the red base, which I believe is over here. So there is this one with the red base. And the only thing I could find about this Civic was it was the 2018 prototype. Now, both packs did have the Type R's in it. But there we go, another variation of the Civic that I did not have and it's new for 22 so this is probably going to be coming out on a card soon but there you go you got the yellow eb10 the porsche ah oh, such wicked castings in this one and check it out we got another chevy volt <laughs> sweet talk about an instant fix for this series the circuit series so there we go just wanted to give you guys a little heads up on that one so yeah now we're done peace